What is up, nerd friends? We're gonna talk about motors. That's right, we're back on the nerd bench for a hot topic. What motor is the right motor? What do these numbers mean? All that fun stuff that maybe you do or do not know or can explain to someone easier after you watch this video. Big thing that I run into is folks hit us up and they wanna know which motor goes in their vehicle. And for the most part, the first answer is you gotta know the size of the motor that's in there. For a lot of the motors, the numbers on the motors are the size. This is a 56113. So it's a 56 millimeter diameter by 113 millimeter length. That's the easy way to do it. This one's a 5687. So that's a 56 millimeter diameter by an 80 seven millimeter, millimeter length. Now, with the 540 size and 550 size motors, even like the A-scale motors, the numbers can get a little trickier. So like you get into the A-scale size stuff, you've got two motors here that are for A-scale. This is a, a sensor-based buggy motor. This is a sensor-based truggy motor from two different lineups, our XE Run racing lineup and our Easy Run. Uh, I guess you'd say basher lineup where they have the wires built in. They started their lives as sensorless combos. Now they are censored. And these are the same thing with the sizes. The numbers that are on them represent the sizes, 4278 and a 4268. So they're both 42 millimeter diameter, but this one's a 74 millimeter length. This one's a 68 millimeter length. A lot of the buggies will fit the truggy motors. A lot of the truggies use the buggy motors, but it comes down to some of the rules for racing that in truggy rules, the, the truck based or the larger tire, they look like a buggy sometimes, they allow a longer motor and that's what the difference comes when in. When we keep moving on, they are these are two four pole sensor based motors and there's a 3660 and a 3652 and you guessed it diameters and lengths again 36 millimeter diameter and the uh, 52 or 60, 60 millimeter length and then we jump down to our turn based motors so the four pole motors are rated by kv the turn based motors or two pole motors rather are rated by turns this is a 17.5 what we consider a 3650 size motor because it's just a touch shorter than the 3652 and same thing here with the drift style motors they're turn based as well they have kv ratings just to kind of make it easier to compare but the KVs are just kind of like another point of reference, but you see there, kind of same thing. It's just a touch shorter than what the 52s are. So we call them 3650s. And you know, same, same thing here with the modified style motors as well. So in the rock crawling arena, the ax combos and the fusion combos are what you're looking at. They are an FOC style of sensor motor, which is a little bit different. And for rock crawling, the name got changed for the sizes. You see there, it says 540L. And what that means, it's the same as a 540 motor. It's just a little bit longer. So normal 540 is either 52 or 56. You see these guys are closer to 58 millimeters and then we also have a 550 version of this which is a 60 millimeter length and also has the larger five millimeter shaft and then this is the latest release in the axe motor lineup this is the normal 540 and as you can see there it's actually closer to the 50 millimeter mark or 49 millimeter mark for length. So this is for the, the tighter builds and all that fun stuff. For the crawlers, there is a Fusion Pro. This is not a Fusion Pro, unfortunately. This one is a little, or it's the older version, so it's a little longer, but the new Fusion Pro is a little bit shorter length and a one millimeter diameter. So it's like a 61 millimeter diameter, but it's only a 56 millimeter length. So that, that's kind of nice, easier to fit into stuff. The other thing that you're gonna run into is the shaft sizes on the motors most of the turn based motors are going to have a normal what's called eighth inch or 3.125 millimeter shaft on them the regular sized or medium sized crawler motor same thing they're going to have a uh, regular eighth inch shaft but once you move into like the four pole motors or the eighth scale motors or even the the, the 550 motors they're going to have a five millimeter shaft on them and then when you get to the three biggest sizes the 7125 the 56 113 and the 56 87 size motors they actually have an eight mil shaft uh, but the the 30 49 85 still has that five mil shaft as do the 42 series motors as well they all have the five mil shafts so. and then finally the the one thing that we talk about often is what voltage is right and the kv of the motor or the motor specifications determines the correct voltage or s rating of your lipos that you can use we run into a lot of situations where the speed control is rated for a different voltage range than the motor is and for the most part a motor has a pretty specific voltage range so you can usually run it at the voltage that it's rated for or lower than that, but you can't run it for the voltage that it's rated for and higher than that, even if the speed control is rated for that.
that. A lot of times we get folks that have a two cell like 540 motor or even a, a 550 motor and they'll run those on the three cell voltage because the speed control allows it and then it ends in a very, very bad time. So you want to make sure that you check the motor and the KV listings um, for what kind of voltage you're going to use. And just, I mean, quickly, for the most part, two cell, you can go 4,000 KV and above. For three cell, you want to be uh, kind of lower than 4,000 KV. For four cell, you usually start kind of somewhere around maybe 1,900 to 2,200 KV. Um, we see some people running the 1,900 and the 2,200 on 6S. That seems to work okay for them. Um, once you get above that, like into the 8S and the 10S and the 12S ranges, you're going to be down in the lower KV stuff, like 1,100, 1,200, 1,300 range. When you get into the 12S stuff, you want to be in as low as KV as possible. Um, R70, 125, which is our only 12S rated motor for the car stuff, is a 560 KV motor, to give you a reference point there. The 56113 is a 8S motor, and that's 800 KV. Just something to keep in mind when you're looking through your motors. Well, I know motor sizes, KVs, all of that, it can be a very confusing topic. So I hope that this video helps you kind of understand some of that. If not, and you have some specific questions after watching this, please send us an email, northamerica at hobbywing.com, and we will be happy to help you out. As always, don't forget, we have a podcast that we do the first and third Friday of every month where we give away a brand new Hobby Wing combo every episode. Just look up RC Stuff Powered by Hobby Wing on your favorite podcast service. As always, folks, thanks for tuning in to The Charlie Show, new every Tuesday right here on the Hobby Wing official YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.